Hey guys, this is Maker of Beauty and I welcome you to another one of my themed uh, paper flowers. I was born in a year of a dragon. I've always liked stories about dragon and then of course, you know, Game of Thrones. In any case, I ended up making a, what I call a dragon princess uh, flower. Uh, what you will get in a package is the uh, four different petals. Well, uh, two of them are bases actually. And then you'll have one petal that is cut out as a dragon and the other petal is um, cut out as a fire and you know however way you want to combine it it's up to you but i've decided to combine both of them just to show you what it looks like and i'll show you how i'm gluing it on and uh, styling it one thing to keep in mind when you glue the petals together you definitely want to have every single one of them you know uh, paired up right away because what you don't want to have is you know something like this unless you do or go for that look right where your dragon um, is looking the opposite direction of the petal so that's one thing to keep in mind and another thing is that you know if you're going to combine it where you have the fire and a dragon together right make sure to determine which way you want your fire uh, tops to look at right um, I decided to do them the opposite direction so you can see it that uh, uh, my big middle one is you know curving more to the right for my fire and uh, to the left for the dragon if you want both of them to look the same direction all you have to do is just flip it and so your dragon would be looking the opposite direction so however you want to do it it's fine just make sure that you're consistent and you don't um, change the direction you know like midway unless that's your intent um, so I'm gonna finish up gluing my last two petals that I have and uh, what I recommend is this the uh, art glitter it's absolutely wonderful when you work with something very very small and I'm just gonna make sure that I'm gluing it on the right side and I am um, you should probably consider getting um, a thin top um, I've had it my kid lost it I can't find it anymore because that thin top allows you to put like the dot glues on it and you don't need to smother the entire area with the glue just you know put the dots it holds beautifully and uh, you know flip it over try to align it so it goes in the same direction and there you have it I definitely would set it aside and um, give it a minute to dry up um, because this glue takes a bit to adhere so here I have it and then if you feel that you know like some edges need to be you know glued a little bit more than just you know give it a, a dot like truly that is all you need um, and it'll be more than enough okay I actually gave it a little bit too much okay and now I'm gonna finish it up my fire petal and my fire petal that's why it helps to have all of them laid out at once um, to make sure that you are keeping consistent with which direction you want to go and I want to go this way so I need to flip it I'll be gluing it like that um, so I'm gonna put my red one down and uh, just a little bit of a dot I'm trying not to do it on the edges, which I just did on one side. Um, and go it more like in the center. So then when you press it down and the glue starts to spread, it doesn't um, spread all over your paper. Okay, so align it. And here we have it, my last remaining petals. Um, it's gonna be pretty difficult to have this flower flat because you have you know the positioning for the dragon so you can't really have like that big of a slit unless you're gonna cut off your dragon and it's not so much of a problem on the fire petal as much as it is on the uh, dragon so you know if you decide to enter you know change uh, use both of them you know in one flower I'd say um, you know definitely do your dragon the second layer because if you do your dragon as a first layer, it just stands up so much higher than your, um, although now that I'm looking at it, it's pretty compatible. So maybe, you know, never mind what I just said. 
go for whichever way you want to. So I'm going to cut my slit. Um, I did not pre-cut the slits in a, either one of these petals because I didn't trust that I'd be able to get the proportions just right and I wanted to have a little bit more control um, doing it manually. So you can see it, you know, it's almost to the dragon but not quite. And now I'm just gonna glue it. With this one, I definitely got my fingers burned quite a bit because, you know, I don't have so much real estate space to uh, put my one petal on the top of the other. So, um, because of that, you know, I'm, I'm holding it quite on the edges. And um, there was a couple of uh, uncomfortable moments, but no pain, no gain. So this one is ready, and I'm just going to finish up my last one. I'm going to just pull it out because I want to keep it as flat as possible while pressing it down hard at the edges to make sure that my glue adheres nicely. Um, because I'm layering two, you know, pretty heavy pieces of paper to each other, it ends up being pretty heavy. And so I really want to make sure that my glue doesn't come apart later on. Um, I said this to be four and a half inches but you know if you want to make it bigger flower by all means go bigger I made this to be five inches and I'm gonna glue and the way I decided to go is that I'm going to have my fire as my outer petal and the dragon is gonna go inside and uh, let me just make sure that I'm not skimming myself out of the uh, real estate space and I don't believe I am so now it's the assembly time as per usual i'm using um circle for my uh, and i think i just glued it a little bit to my poster board i'm using the a circle shape base i'm giving generous amount okay and it's gonna be opposite of each other to help uh, me to figure out where my subsequent petals need to go. So this one is going to go here and this one is going to go there. I'm trying to debate whether or not they should be touching each other and I don't I don't want them to be oh and I actually accidentally grabbed dragon. Okay. I don't want them to be touching each other. I mean, you know, um, if you do want them to be touching each other definitely do it but I think you know if they touch each other it's just a little overwhelming and it's a quite rich color uh, flower to begin with so you know if you want them to be touching each other then just set your base to be uh, same height as your whatever you end up your largest petal to be or another way you do what you can do is just bring it a little bit more inside as opposed to just you know like one inch uh, one inch off so those are two different ways to get tighter look on the petal okay so this is done and now i'm gonna switch over and put in my last remaining petals um i don't know about you guys but i absolutely love 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 chinese uh video movies about the the uh, past history of um I guess Chinese empires, you know, I find them to be so colorful and festive and it's just full of uh, emotions and uh, uh, beauty. And so I absolutely love attending the uh, Chinese year celebrations. Um, and I kind of feel that me and my kids are well prepared for the next year. Okay. So my fire is ready and truly guys, you know, like this is beautiful by itself. Um, I don't have a center made just yet, you know, but I think that even if you were to not have a real estate space in between the petals and just have, you know, um, either tighter look or maybe do eight petals and put one big fluffy center that would look gorgeous by itself. Um, but I'm gonna continue on with bringing in my dragon. There's my dragon. Now I believe I'll be I'll needing to tuck my petal in underneath. So what I'm gonna do is, you know, I'll be gluing only one half of it 
to make sure that this half is not glued on, just in case if I need to tuck it in. I might, I may not need to, but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to assume that I might. And hopefully it will stay because it is pretty heavy at this point. Um, the, there's no question that was having, you know, uh, dragon going over. It's covering up the fire a bit, right? And it's making it a pretty busy uh, flower. But I believe that is consistent with how I envision the Chinese decorations to be. A lot of rich red colors, a lot of yellow. By the way, um, the... I was, as I said, right, I was born in a year of a dragon. Um, and uh, it's what, coming every two years, I mean, every 12 years, right? So I will be 44 in two years. So in about a year and a half, right? Is my calculation correct? I'll have a chance to be reborn. Because you know the 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 um, in the mist, you know the dragon gets burned and then gets uh, reborn. It's kind of like a phoenix type of a deal. Okay, so it's gonna be this one, and yeah, definitely I'm tucking it in. Okay, let's. By the way, do you guys know the story about the uh, dragon princess? It's really adorable. I highly recommend reading it. My kid was blown away. There is a story about a dragon princess. And let's get our last petal in here. And then I'm going to finish up gluing it on this side. Make it two fluffy um, centers. So that's really nice. Okay, since um, this flower ended up getting free, small slit. I want to talk to you about why the slits are important, right? Um, if you were to look at from the side, this flower is pretty high raised and because of that um, the full size of it is maybe only like eight inches I want to say, right? Whereas um, if you were to have it a longer slit and you'd be able to layer it like a little bit more flatter, you would have a more of a flower, right? So, because let's count, this is a four and a half inch, my base is five inches, four and a half inches. In total, it should be giving me like close to 12 inches, but this is definitely not 12 inches. So that's why the uh, slitting, you know, comes into play so, important and another thing is that if your flower is flatter it is easier to adhere it um, on the walls well what I'm, i think what i'm trying to say is that uh, i mean you'll be able to adhere the flower irregardless whether it's flat or not flat right it's more of it that um, you'll have better look from the side because you'll have better chance to uh, blend in with your wall, which is not going to like stick out as a sore sump from the side. I mean, it, it doesn't matter so much when you do a backdrop because you can hide all of that. But if you were to do an arrangement on the wall, you know, as part of your home decor, it would definitely be a different situation. I mean, it would bother me. But that could be just a matter of personal preference. So I'm not going to do anything. Um, fancy with this fringe. I'm just gluing, you know, each side next to each other and I'm just going to curl it. So I'm going to take my tweezers if I can find them in the toolbox and I found them. Okay. And I'm just going to start curling. I feel that the flower is so rich by itself, it doesn't need anything more fancier. Maybe if I was trying to make it like 20 inches or something, that I would go for like a fancier uh, center, but right now I think this is sufficient. I'm going to switch it to making it with my hands so I can have a bit more control up on top 
because I don't want it to start fluffing out just yet. Okay, so I'm rolling, 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 and I'm gonna hold this in place. I'm gonna And notice guys, right, I'm not giving it uh, that much of a glue. I mean, I'm rolling it without it. Um, the reason to that is because you'll be putting plenty of the glue when you adhere the center to the flower and it will hold just fine. And um, if you put glue the, the entire length of the French, I just find it so difficult to roll and it becomes very bulky and very heavy to work with and uh, you can accidentally end up ripping the paper. I don't like that. Okay, just a little bit more. Okay, and now I'm gonna give the glue all the way down without actually completing it all the way until the end. The reason to that is that uh, as I roll it in, my glue is gonna get pushed out. And if I was to finish it all the way until the end, I would end up burning my fingers. Not that I don't burn them, but that would be even more so. Okay, my French is in place and I'm gonna be starting to open it up. All you do is just, you know, gently put the fringes out and you don't have to, you know, if you like uh, more of a closed look, you could just leave it just like that. Um, if you want it to lay it flatter, just gently pull it all the way down. But you need to be consistent, right? So if you decide that that's what you want to do, then you need to do it all across. I mean, if you do it on one side where it's laying flatter and the other side is just like standing, it's not, um, I don't think it's a good look. I like a balance and... Uh, uh, having even stuff is very to me I find it aesthetically very pleasing okay so oops looks like my blade my blade has getting been getting um, a little dull even though it's gotten great reviews I'm not thrilled about it because I only had it for like maybe six months and I can't say that I've been cutting more so than usual my previous blade lasted longer than that okay so my center is ready and it's gonna go right in here, but I think it's actually a little bit too high. So I'm gonna try to see if I can make it flatten it out a tad. Nope, it's not gonna work. Because if I try to flatten it out, then I'm just gonna squish it and I don't wanna squish it. Let me glue my center. Hmm. You know, guys, I'm definitely gonna have to redo the uh, center because if I was to glue the center right here, right now, it would actually cover up the beauty of uh, the dragon. And I don't want the beauty of my dragon to be covered up. So I'm gonna have to make it a smaller height of the fringe. Um, let me see if I can use something different. I guess I have this. Um, <clears throat> so, um, I don't recommend doing the small flower in here because I think it would be like neither here nor there. It just doesn't go with the seam unless if maybe you were to make it red flower. I really think that the fringe would be so much better. It's just that, you know, my fringe is uh, a tad too high. But, uh, uh, most important thing is that you know how to assemble this flower and uh, thank you so much if you decide to purchase it any questions please free feel free to email me thank you